Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create pros and cons diagram. The simple pros and cons diagram that talks about two sides of an argument looks like this. As you can see here, this is the central argument. The negative factors are shown on one side, positive factors are shown on another side. It's a very useful diagram in many cases. Instead of using a table with two sets of arguments, you can actually have something like this which looks a little more interesting visually. Let us see how to create this simple pros and cons diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The diagram is made of just two components. One is the circle, another one is this double-headed arrow. What I'm going to do first is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to choose this one called as Oval Tool. I click on it. While I hold the Shift button, I'm going to draw a big circle. The reason why I want to have it slightly bigger is so you can actually write your uh, argument. Say for example, your... You, okay, I think... Caps, you, you can replace or, or you can enter your text about your argument here or whatever is uh, the text that you want to write here I am going to give it a white color go to shape effects go to preset and use this one called as preset 2 and I am going to change the font color to black and now as you can see here the outline of this shape is not very clear for this, let me go to right click, go to format shape, go to effects option and I'm going to use a shadow preset under outer called as offset center. As soon as I do that, you can see that there is uh, the edges are very apparent. I'm going to increase the size of the shadow a little bit so that you can very clearly see this button. So that is our central uh, circle. If you want to give it slightly lighter color to make the button look like a button, you can do so. You can have a different color for the button. So let us use this tan color for the button. The next step is to add the double-headed double -headed arrow behind. So I'm going to go to the block arrows segment in Auto Shapes menu and I'm going to choose this one called as the double-headed arrow. Uh, I think that is what it is called. Yeah, it is left right arrow so click on it and draw the left right arrow here you can always adjust the width of the stem by moving this yellow handle so there it is now we are going to go to format shape and fill or since we already uh, have got this pane open we are going to go to fill I'm going to use a gradient for this one so let me go to gradient fill. Now you can use any of these uh, presets. You can use any of this because we are going to make a change here. First we are going to change the type of gradient to be linear and the direction to be from right to left. And we are going to have just three stops. The central stop is going to be at the position of 50% instead of the 35% that is given here. On one end, which is the left end, we are always going to choose red or the negative factor. On the right hand side, we are going to choose green. So this is the color of the stops here and I have chosen to keep the center one as white. I am going to remove the shape outline for this one to no outline. I am going to add a bit of a preset here. So for this, let me go to shape effects preset and choose this one called as preset 2. Now that it looks beautiful, I am going to send to back. Now this automatically gives me two sides here. Now all that is left for me is to uh, get these two text boxes to uh, this slide and I can stick it here. I am not wasting my time writing all this stuff. Not only for this, in general, now once I have done this, there is one thing I am going to do which is about Control G and I am going to have all of them centrally, I mean align middle. 
not only for this one but mostly it makes sense to work with what you already have for example if you have got some text box like this available with a header somewhere else why do you want to create this text box another one and then uh, stick it together you can always copy the same thing to this slide and then you can replace the text you can save tons of time by this this is called as the mentality to use templates and templates are great time savers talking about templates i would like to show you some example templates for two sides of an argument taken from our powerpoint ceo packs this is the first example which shows objective evaluation there are positive factors on the right and negative factors on the left we have made the point very clear by having red color for the negative factors and green color for the positive factors we have also reemphasized this with icons with thumbs up and thumbs down now once it is done i just add the relevant text and that makes the diagram look attractive let me show you another example this one shows positive and negative factors here and we have used this very interesting graphic to talk about the negatives and the positives uh, let me take give you another example this is about two sides of an argument the far argument goes here and against argument goes here and the slide is complete naturally instead of creating all these effects yourself you can save your time if you are a busy business presenter by going for off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating two sides of an argument diagram or pros and cons diagram. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentation-process.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.